Good morning. Good to study God's Word with you today. Today we are looking at Revelation chapter 11. Uh, it's split up into two different parts here. Uh, the first part uh, is very reminiscent, at least to, m to my, myself, of the times of the flood. Um, if you recall the flood, you know, the, the majority of the world had turned away from God and um, became wicked in, in thought, word, and, and deed. Uh, but God chose to save uh, save Noah and his family to keep the promise of salvation alive through through Noah and his family. Uh, very reminiscent of the, the New Testament times uh, in the, this period of time here um, where God sends out two witnesses. And most likely these two witnesses are uh, just a representation of all all believers, all faithful believers who go out into the world, live by faith, share their faith as they proclaim God's love and as they live, live in faith. Um, but these, these two witnesses, while they go and they faithfully um, witness, um, the world scoffs at them and the world uh, laughs at them. The world doesn't pay attention to them. And then eventually these, these witnesses are taken up um, to heaven um, and but still unbelievers uh, they look at them and mock laugh um, kind of a bleak picture that is painted here but then comes the the seventh trumpet as you recall we looked at six trumpets a few days ago and the seventh trumpet sounds um, I want to read a portion of this for you uh, the seventh angel sounded his trumpet and there were loud voices in heaven which said the kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he will reign forever and ever. And the 24 elders who were seated on their thrones before God fell on their faces and worshiped God, saying, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was, because you have taken your great power and have begun to reign. The nations were angry. Your wrath has come. The time has come for judging the dead and for rewarding your servants, the prophets, and your saints, and those who reverence your name, both small and great. Um, what's the theme of Revelation? Jesus wins. Uh, the seventh trumpet is uh, Judgment Day, when Jesus comes back and all, all will recognize, believers and unbelievers will recognize Jesus as Lord, as King, as God. Um, and what's the theme of Revelation again? Jesus wins, right? And for us, it's a beautiful picture uh, because we know where we stand and we know what that means for us. Because Jesus wins, so too does his people. And we, along with Jesus, get to reign forever in heaven in eternal glory and perfection. And so no matter how, how bleak things get, you know, it does, Revelation does paint a, a bleak picture, much like the, the flood became a very uh, bleak and a horrible, wicked time. Um, these things will happen, but no matter how bleak things around us may look, no matter how um, how, how fierce the, the persecution can come at, at believers through the wickedness and unbelief of the world, uh, no matter how bleak it gets, Jesus wins. Uh, you and I, we get to reign forever and ever uh, through the relationship that our Savior has won for us. Uh, and so I pray that we know that cherish that no matter how tough things can look um that you have power you have glory and that is all because of what our god has done for us let's pray dear lord we come to you and we ask that you strengthen us to live in faith to be your witnesses in this world uh, no matter how hard the temptations the persecutions may get to be your faithful witness to grow in our faith to live for you uh, because we know all that you have done for us and the glory that we have through you. Uh, help us to know this, help us to cherish this, and help us to share it uh, with those around us. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. God's blessings on your day.